First you gotta tune your motherfucking banjo. Best you can get that dumbass thing. And so everything you're doing is pretty much with your your pull off hand there. It kind of like the, the shuffle, the. That's what got me comfortable using that hand. But what you're doing is like, instead of, you know, that walk in the fingerboard pattern that we talked about, I guess a couple weeks ago, you're just holding that beat. So like, I'm gone downtown, gonna swap me a big hand, got my skinny good. So learn a song that you like and get that beat going. flipping this thing it's I honestly recommend you using the lightest banjo you can possibly use this thing get was really hard for me to do at first because this rim is so thick compared to this guy here you can see the difference in rim thickness here and it's made out of a much heavier wood but anyways um, you want to do you want to count it in your head it's like rubbing your stomach and tapping your head at the same time is the best way I can explain it. You're doing two different things at once, and if you sing at the same time while doing it, it sounds really good. Otherwise, you're just kind of banking and bonking your banjo. <laughs> uh, anyways, so the first one you're gonna do, you're not gonna flip it on the first beat. You're not gonna go, I'm going. You're gonna go, you're gonna, you're gonna strum with your first hand, with your hand on your first beat. So you're gonna go, I'm gone. Then on the second beat, you're gonna flip it. Down, down. So it's always pluck, flip, pluck. That's always what I'm doing. I'm not flipping on the first beat, if I can help it. Sometimes I fuck up when I do that. But, so I'm gone, down, down, gone. Buy me a jug of whiskey, gonna give it all to Misty Keeper. If you, I don't know if you noticed what I did, but give it all to Misty Keeper, good and high. And so like, you can add a lot of stuff to that. Whenever I was first doing it, I was flipping it in a really weird way. I was going it under my leg that way, and I wasn't making sense. But I got a rotation in my head that is most comfortable with me. I've noticed I do it differently than Leroy Troy does it, and Leroy Troy does it differently than Cordell does it. I'm assuming everybody just figures out an acrobat <laughs> that is most comfortable for them. I'm sorry y'all have to listen to me talk this much. But anyways, so what you're doing is, what I'm doing at least is, I'll do it with the, with the chorus or whatever. So, um, if you say so, I'll never work no more. So I'm grabbing the back of my banjo right there. If you say so, three, I'll never work no more. I fucked it up. If you say so, I'll run this guy up here. Never work no more. I lay down your shanty. So like it's, if you, I'm just going. Whenever I turn it, I'm plucking it with my hand backwards. And I grab it again. And I, and then when it's up right here, that's what I think is most comfortable is going. And then I pluck it again when I move my hand back. I'm always ending with bam on that last beat as I start, just as I start on the first beat. So I'll do it to speed because it's really hard to do it slow. So keep, <laughs> God damn it. I'm going downtown, going to swat me a big hand. Got my skinny good and greasy. All the time, time, time. I mean, I, it's, it's hard to do it slow. I can't really explain why. It just is. Um, I'll do it as slow as I possibly can. So, I'm gone downtown, gone. Swat me a big hand. Got my skin good and greasy all the time, time, time. So, that's the best way I know how to explain it, man. You just gotta really fucking practice, like, getting comfortable throwing 
your dumbass banjo around <laughs> because it's really scary at first. Um, but it is so fucking funny. It's the dumbest shit ever. Man, when you get it down, please send videos.